Okay, let's do an experiment here. This is a uh, 47 ohm resistor, so not quite 50 ohms, but uh, pretty close to 50 ohms. And I put it on a uh, on a connector here so we can hook it up to the VNA. So it should measure something like a dummy load. All right. So uh, it's the wrong sex, so I had to uh, put an adapter on it, but that won't matter for what we're doing here. Okay. So, uh, how are we doing here? Um, so we are going between 50 kilohertz and 7 megahertz, so let's say 40 meters. And uh, we have a, a one small spot, let me turn out the overhead lights here. We have one small spot here at 50 ohms, it's a little bit to the left. So remember this is short and this is open, so it's a little bit more shorter than 50 ohms, so 47, so that makes sense. And then the um, return loss here is uh, log mag uh, 10 dB, so 10, 20, 30 dB of, of return loss, so it's a very nice match. So let's, um, let's go up a bit in frequency, let's say we want this to operate at uh, 20 meters. <clears throat> so let's see here, we'll do a stop frequency of... Um, uh, 14 megahertz. Oh, everything looks everything looks fine. Okay, let's go up to 10 meters there. Let's go to 28 megahertz here. Uh, 28 megahertz. Uh, hmm. It's starting to kick up a little bit over here. Not sure what's going on there, but eh, that's okay. Let's use it at 2 meters. Let's go to 440 megahertz. Stop. Uh, oops. 144 megahertz. Whoa. Um, now you see two things that are very interesting. One is that the return loss is kicking up. And now, look, we have a little arc here in uh, on the Smith chart. So why do we have an arc on the Smith chart? Um, it's following one of these circles. That's kind of interesting. And it's going up in direction. So up in direction means there's some inductance that's being added. And because it's on this circle, that means it's a constant resistance. So we're still 47 ohms, but we've added inductance. So where's that inductance coming from? Well, it's these wires. We have these long wires on here. And at 7 megahertz, those long wires don't really matter. But at 144 megahertz, yeah, they're starting, they're starting to matter. So let, let's go up. Let's go to... Um, let's go to... Uh, 440 megahertz. Take a look at that. Whoa! Now our arc goes way over here. Um, so now we're starting to add other problems as well. So um, you can see that if you want to build um, RF circuits, you have to pay attention to lead length. Um, so, um, oh, what's this call sign? W2AW. Um, he did a really nice video on making dummy loads using little um, surface mount uh, chips. Um, using, say, two 100 ohms um, or four 200 ohms uh, to make a 50 ohm load on one of these things. So um, it should improve this problem because the inductance would be very, very low because the lead lengths would be very, very short. Um, but let's go ahead and let's just take our, um, our current uh, uh, dummy load and let's just try to cut the the um, leads off of it and try to make it as sure as we can and see what type of uh, improvement we can be we can have on the uh, on the VNA. All right, so I've uh, tried to shorten up the lead lengths on my uh, little quarter watt resistor here. It's probably an eighth watt resistor. Um, so they're about as short as I can kind of get them. They're about a quarter inch long, maybe something like that. So let's go ahead and uh, hook it up to our uh, to our VNA. And see if we've improved that 440, 440 trace. Turn off the lights up here. And you can see it's much, much better. Um, our excursion along the uh, inductance length is much, much shorter. And uh, things are looking much, much better. So you can imagine using little uh, chip, chip, capa uh, chip resistors uh, to get that down even smaller. So let me dig around and see if I have a chip resistor the right value and we'll stick that in there and see if we can't make it better. 
All right, um, I put a little uh, chip uh, uh, 0805 uh, in there. I hope you can see that. It's a 49.9 ohm resistor. So uh, let's uh, let's put it on and see what it does. Okay, I made a mistake. I put a 49.9K resistor. Anyway, I have to swap that out and put in a 51 ohm. So we're, we're running at 51 ohms now. And you can see that the Smith chart is perfect now. There's just a one, one little um, uh, green dot. And the return loss is way down here at 10, 20, 30, 45 dB, something like that. So let's bump up the, uh, bump up the stop frequency to uh, 900 megahertz. Um, and sometimes it goes a bit funny because of the calibration. So let's do a stop of, uh, let's say 850 megahertz. See if that helps. Yeah, that helps. So you can see that, uh, even at 850 megahertz, this is a perfect dummy load. So, uh, it's very easy to make dummy loads, uh, up to a gigahertz, uh, using surface mount parts. So, um, so there you go. Going from a long leaded 8th uh, watt resistor to a short leaded 8th watt resistor to a surface mount. So um, I'd say the long leads are probably good to, you know, 40, 40, uh, 40 or 20 meters uh, up to, say, 20 megahertz. And then the short leaded ones are up good up to maybe into the um, 2 meter band. And then uh, anything above that, you really want to go to a surface mount part and have uh, and have short leads. So, um, yeah, there you go.